Nice. And 2016. Question three. Yeah, better trigonometry to do. So the first thing here is you want to show that this to your left hand side equals the right hand side. Now, as I always say, work with the more complicated side. You have something to go with. So here you have cos 7a plus cos a. You take your time, go through the formulas, and you'll see there's some and differences to products. So there's like your cos 7a plus cos a. So cos 7a plus cos a is 2 cos a plus b. So 8a over 2 plus or cos a minus b and 6a over 2. All over sine seven a minus sine a sine seven a minus sine a is the same as two cos a plus b over two sine a minus b minus b six a over two. Now we can tidy that up. So that leaves us with two cos. Just working with this bit now. So two cos eight a over two is four a cos three a over two cos four a. Sine 3a. If they cross out, we're left with cos 3a over sine 3a. And cos 3a over sine 3a. So just have a wee look at cot. Cos um, is cos over sine. So we're saying. So that's equal to cot 3a. Done. Wasn't as bad as it initially appeared. Now here's a tricky wee one here. Now, uh, given that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 over 9, now uh, initially you'd almost think I'm going to add on 360 and put it in to both sides, get the reference angle. But that's only if they ask you for theta, find you the, the angle. Here it says find cos theta and leave it in the form a plus b over 9. Now, once we see that there, um, we have to do a wee bit of work. So, cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta, same as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. That's equal to a ninth. So all I've done is rewrite the cos 2 theta as equal to a ninth. Because we're trying to solve for cos theta, not just theta. Here we've got an equation of 2. We want to get rid of the sine squared theta. Top of page 13. In order to get sine squared theta, it's 1 minus cos squared theta. So cos squared theta minus... 1 minus sine, oh, 1 minus cos squared theta, equal to 1 over 9, tidy that up, cos squared theta minus 1 plus cos squared theta, 2 minus, 2 cos squared theta is equal to 9 plus 1, it's brought over that 1 there, 2 cos squared theta is equal to 1 9 plus 1, put it in your calculator, it's 10 over 9, how are we going to work out cos squared theta? Divide that by 2. So cos squared theta is 10 over 9. Divide that by 2. Again, put that in your calculator. You get 10 over 5. Or 5 over 9, sorry. So then multiply 5 over 9. And we just want cos theta. So if x squared is equal to that, to work out x, take the square root of it. Same here. So cos theta. Square root of 5 over 9. They're natural numbers, so only the positive version of it. So it's the square root of 5 over 3. Square root of minus 3. Again, you can put that in your calculator just to check. That's it.